Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be getting some nails on my right hand, finally. So I'm going to be using all Var Nail products today. So I've already prepped my nails, done all my cuticle work. I've applied a dehydrator and a primer and I've applied a coat of the Var Nail base coat on all five nails. So now I've took some of that solid extension gel, non-stick hand gel, whatever you want to call it. And I'm applying that into full cover tips. So I'm basically going to be using these as dual forms today. Guys, this is the most easiest nail extensions you can get. The most beginner friendly method ever. So I've stuck that to the nail, cured that, and now I'm just popping that tip off. Look at that. Done. So I'll just show you me doing one more nail. So I'm just filling that full cover tip. I wasn't too bothered about it being at the sides right at the tip because I'm going to cut these down anyway. I don't want these the full length. So just make sure you're getting it right up the sides, especially as far as you, as long as you want to go. And then just stick that to the nail. It is quite a stiff product, so you do have to push quite hard. But what I like about this solid extension gel is it's not sticky. There's no cleanup required. I just go around that cuticle area bit. You'll see in a minute. I go around with my nail on my other hand, just making sure that none of it's touching my cuticle before I put it in the lamp. And that's it. That is it, guys. And then pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Because we're popping these tips off, guys, you don't want to etch them. You don't want to prime the tips. You just want to leave them as they come in the pack. Now we're going to pop all the tips off. And they are a little bit stiffer to get off than what jewel forms are. But just keep squeezing them and wiggling them and they will come off quite easy. Ta-da! We now have a full set of nails. So I'm just going to chop them down to the length that I want. And I'm going to file around that cuticle area, you know, just to get rid of that lip. There's hardly any filing that needs to be done on these either. I do just whip up the sides to make sure the sides are nice and straight and crisp. But it's mainly just around that cuticle area. And that is it. So I'm going to do the rest of these off camera. Then I'm going to give them a buff. And then we're going to do some design work. So this is the Var Nail Stamping Gel, which you can use as a gel paint, which is what I'm going to be using it for today. And I'm just going to paint a nail bed on this pinky. This gel is really, really pigmented and opaque, guys. It's a really nice gel to use. So I'm just going to get that all nice and neat and crisp, and then I should pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. That's that nail done. Now I'm using the pink stamping gel and I'm going to do a chevron smile line on this ring finger but I'm only doing one half because on the other half of the chevron I want it to be glitter. So I'm just going to get that all nice and neat and straight and then I should pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now we're on to the middle nail and I'm using that pink stamping gel again. And I'm just going to do like a little swell design. I just want to apologise for going out a shot a couple of times as well, guys. It's because I'm using my non-dominant hand. I seem to be working over more to the right than what I normally am. And the nice thing about this Varnell stamping gel, because it's so opaque, you don't have to keep going over it. One coat is enough. It's a really, really nice gel to use. So once I'm happy with that swell, I'm going to give that a flash cure for about 10 seconds. So now I'm doing a purple swirl next to that pink one and I'm using a purple gel polish but it's from a different brand. That's why I've not showed you it guys because I'm using all Varnail products today. So because I didn't have a lilac purple from Varnail so I've had to pull out a different brand.
So once I'm happy with that, I'll cure that for 30 seconds. And now I'm using that white stamping gel and I just want to do a really thin line between those two colours and I just think it makes it pop a little bit more. This is the Varnell Glitter Platinum Gel, which was out of their second anniversary box. I'm just going to fill in this area on the middle nail, and then I'm going to do that other half of that chevron smile line on the ring finger nail. Again, like their stamping gels, guys, look how great that coverage is for a glitter gel. It covered so well. I thought I was going to have to do maybe a couple of coats of this, but nope. One coat covered it, perfect. Now I'm using the pink stamping gel again and I'm gonna do some lines going over that pink half of the chevron. And I want these to be like raised. So as soon as I've done that and I'm happy with them, I'm gonna pop that straight in the lamp so it doesn't start to go flat. So now I've pulled out the Opal Reflective Gel, colour OR01. Again, this was out of their second anniversary box. There were some beautiful gels in that box, guys. If you've not seen that video where I've swatched those gels, I'll leave the link to that one at the end of this one if you want to go over and check it out. So I'm just using this as a little bit of a background colour because I'm going to be going over this with some, some pink and purple hexes. So I just wanted this to be a bit of a background colour. So these are from AliExpress. They were just some little, I think, one gram pots or something. Really, really cheap from AliExpress. And I'm just pulling out a couple of those hexes and I'm sticking that into that uncured opal gel. And then once I've nudged them about, got them where I want them, I shall cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. All right, so they're all ready for top coat now, guys. So I'm using the Varnell Tempered Top Coat really nice top coat this is it's really really glossy and it stays glossy for ages it wears really really well it's anti-yellowing it's scratch resistant all their gel polishes are made from natural resin they're eco-friendly they're really good quality gels so i'm just going to give them all a coat of this top coat pop them in the lamp for 30 seconds and then that'll be them all done So there we are guys, that's them all done. What do you think? I like them. So I'm just gonna give them a little bit of cuticle oil now, cause my cuticles need it so badly. I've hammered them a little bit. So let's give them a little bit of nourishment, like that. As you'll see as well guys, I did a couple of four pointed stars and some dots on that middle nail and the pointer nail. I just thought they was a little bit plain, they just needed something. So I did that off camera. Look how glossy that top coat is as well, guys. It's beautiful. I really like the Varnell top coat. Just remember as well, guys, I did these with my non-dominant hand. So go a little bit easy on me when it comes to the artwork. 
I don't think they're that bad, considering I use my non-dominant hand. Do you? I think they look alright. I've really, really enjoyed using these Varnell products today as well, guys. Their gels are super pigmented, especially their stamping gel. But even the platinum gel as well, it covered so well. I really like these lines as well on that chevron smile line. I really like that effect. I just think it gives it a little bit of something else, doesn't it? I like it. So, guys, how easy was these nail extensions to do? Like, the most easiest beginner-friendly nail extensions ever. Such a quick method as well. They're going to be great for beginners, great for someone who just needs a set of nails on quick time. And wearing them, they actually feel like acrylic nails. They're so strong. I'm really enjoying using this solid extension gel at the minute. I really am. So everything that I've used today, I'm going to leave listed in my description box below, along with any discount codes that I've got. I have got a Varnell discount code as well, guys. So if you want to save yourself 25% off their website, at checkout, enter GG30, and that will take 25% off your order. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, guys, I've got a really exciting Varnell video going out in a couple of days. So keep your eyes peeled for that video, because that is one you do not want to miss. But for now, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing, guys. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.